a cold and rainy night in Las Vegas. Let's go to the strip. Let's go to the win. Let's go to my favorite steakhouse, SW. Thanks to a viewer over the vlog. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Cookie butter cheesecake. That is. That's a mountain of joy right there. 2,000 calories. An excellent meal <laughs> at my favorite steakhouse at the win. Thanks to a viewer of the vlog. Peter Zaff. With blinds at one dollar, three dollar. I'm under the gun plus one with Ace Eight of Hearts. We're here to gamble. We're not going to knit it up and open fold this hand, so I make it ten dollars to go. Action folds to late position. Who makes it thirty-one dollars to go? Thirty to fifty-year-old Asian male puts in the call in the big blind, and the action is back to us. My gut says fold, but we do have the nut flush draw. Uh, our eights might be live. Definitely dominated in probably one or two spots with our ace. But for 21 more dollars, I think we can play some boards profitably. The flop comes. Ace, king, six, one heart. Pretty good flop. We check to the initial raiser who bets $45. Big blind folds, which I can only imagine is a hand like pocket jacks or pocket tens. So when action gets back to us, we don't love it, but I think our hand is a little too strong to fold just yet. We're hoping for a heart, an eight, or maybe an ace. We put in the call. The turn is an ace. Good news, good news. We check it to the raiser, and he bets $65. Pretty small bet. What hands would he bluff with here? Uh, not many, unfortunately, uh, unless he's specifically three betting a hand like queen jack, queen 10, or jack 10. His bluffing barreling range is very small. And our hand is pretty under rep, but I think we got to put in the call and see what happens on the river. The river is a brick. We check it over to my man who shoves all in for $123.
Pretty small bet in relation to the pot. I look at him and say, are you ever bluffing here? He smiles. Are you ever bluffing? Knows that he's not I capable never. of putting three barrels in <laughs> as a bluff a in this 1-3 game. And we make a horrible call with trips once again. And he shows us the bad news, which is East King offsuit. Never bluffing. I end up reloading three hundred dollars. Boom! Just gonna bluff you guys all night. I don't know, that I don't know. I mean, I've always known it. It's my thing. No more hands of note, and we cash out $500 for a $300 loss at the win. One three no limit cash game. Hope you guys appreciate the cash game action. We're gonna run out of money soon. The win, Saturday, $230 rebuy with optional $200 rebuys at the table. Unheard of, nowhere else really does this, but it's great for the players, it's convenient, and most importantly, it's almost zero rake. Instead of having to pay 200 plus 30 or whatever, you pay 200 minus three or 4% just to the dealer's fee. Uh, maybe 10 bucks much better much more convenient much juicier prize pools and much more action during the four hour rebuy period we're getting to the win at 3 p.m so we missed uh you know 75 percent of the rebuy period that's fine we'll be coming in with 15,000 chips at probably 300 600 blinds so a lot of money in the middle to win let's win that money Let's get to the final table and let's take this tournament down around 3 a.m. And we have arrived at the win, our second home, our favorite casino, free parking, great staff, great service. Check out the win slash Encore Poker Room when you come to Las Vegas. Yes. Fifteen thousand starting stack. We're down to thirteen eight. When I look down at five six of clubs, under the gun plus two. Pretty loose, but we're here to gamble. I make it nine hundred to go and get three callers. Let's hit a good flop. The flop comes jack six six all red. That's a good flop. We got trips. Time to bet it. 1800. Button thinks about it and makes it 6,000. He very likely has a flush draw or a jack X type of hand, raising for protection. Action folds back to us. I don't think he's ever folding any of his range to a jam, so let's just get it in now. I shove all in. And he puts in the call. He has ace, jack, offsuit. All we have to do is fade a two outer. And we do fade it. And we get the double up. We're up to about 28,000. Yeah, you're gonna be more likely. Thirty-one thousand chips going to four hundred, eight hundred. Let's run well. I purchased the one-time seventy-five hundred chip add-on for one hundred dollars. I lose some small pots. And we lose some more small pots. And some more small pots. It's getting pretty frustrating.
and we're now down to about 14,000 from a peak of 40,000. Nothing of a note though. But do you see what the word the wires is? That that chasing with blinds at. 600, 1200, action folds us in the cutoff. Another look down at King Nine of Hearts. 14,000 chips, I think about min raising, but pretty easy jam with like 12 blinds here. I shove all in and the button thinks about it and puts in the call. We're heads up against Ace Queen Offsuit. It's time to win a pot. We have to win this pot. Our tournament life is on the line. <laughs> I'm due for a win. All right, that's a start. Need some more help. Hey, rooting for yourself? Did I win? No. Okay. Nice. My brother sent it to me. Nice game. And I'm out of the win. Two hundred and thirty dollar rebuy. Three hundred and thirty dollars gone. I was a victim of death by paper cuts. A very, very frustrating way to dwindle down and go out and watch every pod get shipped to other guys that are just clicking buttons. But that is poker, that is the variance, and that is the reality of tournament poker. Maybe one day I'll win a tournament. Maybe.